Hi, thanks so much for joining me today. My encouragement for you today is a great body weight glute workout. And so let's jump right in. I'm going to show you just a couple things you would do of a warm up here to get started. So stay in place. You're going to do this one. It's called a leg cradle. Just do that 10 times, then drop the hip back. We're going to stretch that length in that hamstring. Do that 10 times back and forth. Then take that right leg back and reach over toward that left side and just kind of drive that hip forward, that back hip forward, and just try doing five or so of that one back and forth. Ready to get started? Here we go, body weight glute workout. One leg, you're gonna do five reps, stay nice and low, touch the ground with both hands, that's a pulse. Then locking in on a 10 second hold. We're gonna go five rounds before you switch legs, really getting a good burn there on those glutes. By pushing the hips down, and staying low, you're gonna feel that because that's gonna extend that hip back. Push the hip back, push the hip back, stay low and drop down. Keep that knee wide, pull the weight back through the heel. Good, set three here. Stay low, touch with both hands on the ground and barely come up. We're going with the movement into an isometric. Isometrics are great because they're going to allow strength actually 10 degrees both directions. So it's as though you were moving. Now just pretend as though someone's trying to push you over and you're really trying to resist by locking in on the glute. Feel that contract. And take the break and kind of shake it out if you need to. Here I do that. And we're going to go one more time here on this one. And feel that burn, keep locking in, keep locking in, hold on strong, we're almost there. And then get to switch legs. Good, nice, nice lock in. Okay, now let's go five reps with the 10 second hold on the other leg. I got the stopwatch going. Keeping the back flat, try to not round your lower back or your mid back, which is called the thoracic spine. Try to keep the back nice and level. You'll feel that combo of getting that resistance into the contraction on the glute, the glute medius, glute max, and then going into that isometric. Focusing on the leg you're standing on, keeping it nice and wide, pulling back through the heel, fixate your eyes on one spot, and that'll also help your balance, and then even flexing the abdominals so lock in on the core. Okay, one more. And then lock in, stay low. Keep that back other leg up. And pull those hips back, stay low. And relax, good. Okay, next one is a single leg hop. And so you're coming down, we're working on 10 reps, just driving that other leg back. Don't come up too high. We're just going 10 and then switching. Single leg plyometrics are tough when you don't have anywhere to be able to reach to help because you're just staying locked in on those after you've already been able to get some good isometric and some good work. So there we went into a plyometric. Now we're gonna go frontal plane plyometric. These are called skater plyometrics. Just landing low, kind of absorbing, nice and soft. Anytime you do jumping exercise, you always want to land soft. You don't want to hear the landing and then staying low through it. Jumping is great for uh, bone density. One of the best things for bone density. Good, just 10 each way. Okay, now with the inline lunge, so you have one leg forward, the other leg's back, keeping the back flat and just touching the ground. It's kind of staying low, trying to get a nice good pulse there. You're gonna feel that front leg load up and then switch, we're going 10 reps. Now on this workout, you can work one, two, three, all the way up to four or five sets. I would say start with one or two to begin with and then be able to work up from there. Next one is a donkey kick. We're gonna do 20 reps. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, 10 reps here on this one. 10 reps on it. You're gonna feel more of the leg load on the leg you're standing on. That other leg's getting extension without extension, extending through the lower back. You're extending through the glute, keeping your back flat, hands on the ground. 
keeping a slight bend in that knee that you're standing on. And then we'll do a couple things down on the ground here. So last two are gonna be a one-legged bridge, 20 reps on this one. On this one, if you feel the hamstrings over dominate, you wanna pull that foot closer to you and drive the heel down, point the toe up. Now the leg that's up in the air to make it harder, you just let it come down closer to the ground. If you're gonna feel the hamstrings, it's called synergistic dominance. It's a fast twitch muscle fiber, the hamstrings. Glutes are slow twitch, so you wanna tuck in a little tighter. We wanna get that primary muscle really firing, get those glute muscles firing. Let those be the dominant muscle instead of the hamstrings on this one. 20 reps, scoop and roll the vertebrae up. Drive the hip, creates good hip extension. It gets that glute fire in well. Feel that burn in there through it. It's not the hardest exercise, but it's really effective. Okay, last one is a quadruped, one leg extension. So you come out at a 45 degree angle, we're going 20 reps, pointing that toe straight down and my leg's out at an angle. I want to lift from the glute, not the lower back. It's called hip extension, not lumbar extension. That's where we want to create the movement from. And then I'm switching legs. And then this is all just one round going through it. This is the last exercise. But feel free to be able to add in more sets. Just start the, uh, the video over and um, enjoy. It's a great little quick workout. You can get body weight, glute workout. Thanks so much for joining me today. Great body weight, glute workout. That was one set. As you're able to start to add more sets, please click subscribe. Thanks so much.